Being a parent has so many facets to it. It's rewarding, it's challenging, it's fun, and it's also, well for me, it's also a way God continues to teach me and remind me more of himself. Right now we have little Leo in our home. He'll be two in August, so as a walker who's still figuring it out, he often takes off scurrying throughout the house with his head looking to the left or to the right or even trying to see what's behind him as he's barreling forward. Well, often this doesn't go too well for little Leo. He runs into stuff all the time because, well, he doesn't keep his eyes forward. He doesn't mean to or want to fall and get hurt, but the reality is he does. And a lot of times that happens to us spiritually. We fall. Maybe we weren't planning on it, but maybe we're setting ourselves up for a fall. I think when a person falls spiritually, it's because they aren't keeping their eyes where they need to be. Now you may ask, well, what do you mean? Well, in chapter 12 of the book of Hebrews, listen to what the author says. He says, let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus. See, we run the race of life that God has before us, not by looking around and comparing and coveting, not by looking back and complaining or trying to look ahead and begin worrying, but by keeping our eyes on Jesus. This means we remember that we're forgiven, not condemned because of what he's done for us on the cross, but also this, also we keep our eyes on him as we follow him daily. You, say, you may say, how do we do that? Well, I think it's simple, but also I think it's one of the most challenging things we could ever do. And Jesus speaks to this in Matthew chapter 16 when he says, if any one of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way. Take up your cross and follow me. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? You see, here it is. Here's how we practically keep our eyes on Jesus. Every day, die to your flesh, give up your own way, and simply follow Him. This isn't easy because our flesh pulls at us every day. So we gotta keep our eyes on the right thing. You see, my little guy, Leo, he's constantly falling because he's looking in every other direction than the direction he's supposed to. So, he falls. And we can run the race that God has given, the life he's given to us, by keeping our eyes on Jesus. Look to Jesus every single day. Give up your own way and follow him in every way.